Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Sujay Nadkarni and today I am going to show you how to perform exploratory data analysis using just two lines of code. With just two lines of code, you will get in-depth EDA. You can perform in-depth feature analysis, correlations and so much more. So let's get started. To perform this magic, I need to install SweetWiz library. So all I'll do is I'll open up a terminal and simply type in pip install SweetWiz and hit enter. So it's demo time. So I have opened my Jupyter notebook and I'm importing a couple of libraries. So import pandas as PD and import SweetWiz. This is the library that you just installed. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to read a file. It has all the housing data information. The link to that data will be available in the description. I found it through Kaggle, so you should be able to download it and perform these steps while watching this video. All right, so this is housing information. So I'm going to call it housing. This is the variable where the information is going to be stored. So I'm going to do pd.read underscore CSV. And I think the name of the file is data.csv. Let's run it and check click on run it did run uh, let me show you what the data looks like so I'm just going to run the head command to show you the first five records so it's a very simple data set it has the price bedroom bathroom square feet living and so on and what we are trying to do is we are going to try to predict the price uh, of the house based on these different features right so this becomes our our target feature or the target variable the next thing that I want to do is now I want to run the exploratory data analysis using SweetWiz and this is where this tool becomes incredibly powerful because all I need is really two lines of code. Okay, so let me show you how I can do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call this housing equal to report and then type in SweetWiz dot analyze and then I just need to pass a list. So the the two things in the list will be first is this so i'm going to simply copy and paste this copy here comma and let's call it uh housing information okay and you'll see what this second variable means the next thing is i need to pass it target underscore feature this is this is the variable that we are looking for this is price so i'm going to simply copy this and paste it here and then I am going to run this command. So let's run this and as you can see this is computing all the different uh, EDA analysis and this is done. Now I want to see this report so all I'm going to do is I'm going to say housing underscore report which is this dot show underscore HTML and I'm going to publish an HTML report and let's call it housing report.html okay now when i click on run this particular screen opens up and as you can see there is so much information here so the first thing that you will see is it gives me information about this data set right so it tells me there are 4600 rows there are 18 features nine of them are categorical numerical text information and so on the next thing that I also can very quickly see is when I click on association, it builds a beautiful correlation chart for me. So I can very quickly see which variables are correlated with price. Okay. Now I, I can click on every feature. So I can let's click on bedrooms. So when I click on uh, bedroom, it tells me top categories. For example, it tells us the top category is three bedrooms. Uh, it tells us what the average price was and it starts giving me all this information about, about bedrooms. I can click on waterfront. Again, it's going to give me a lot of information about waterfront, views, condition, square feet, square basement, years renovated. As you can see, years renovated, it tells us what are the most frequent values, the smallest values, the largest values. Not just that, it is telling me how many values are missing distinct uh, variables the max value 95 95th percentile the range the standard deviation everything done using just two lines of code in python as you saw sweetwiz is incredibly powerful and the best thing is it works great even with large data sets i hope you enjoy this video please subscribe and i will see you soon